Did it, let me just go back. Actually, you said when he picks up the when he picks up the the ring holder, the ring holster. You don't know what he's going to do with it because he starts like he throws it and catches it again. You're like, oh, a throwing and catching thing, and then it turns out not to be that. And this is something that I want to touch on really clearly: is that if you have a, a juggling prop or a juggling trick. You have to understand what the trick is. I've talked about the energy of the trick and knowing when a trick is finished. But I think there's a there's a, a really, really great example of that when Anthony Gatto, he does these two tricks. He does he does the one with the with the um this one here. He does the one where he juggles the rings and he throws and he throws the rings up and they they, they catch on the they catch on the on the hook. And then there's I mean this is a great trick. So let's just just look at this. One, two, three, four, five, all caught. And uh, the ball, great. Okay, so let's let's now have a look at his other one, and it, it's 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 a similar kind of thing. So he he puts the balls up one, you know, and this is a really clear ending of when the trick is here, even though he messes up. It goes in the cup, and then there's a teapot. The teapot closes, perfect, great. We know that the trick is finished. Everything's good. Now let's see Willie, who uh, does a, a similar kind of thing. He's like. Anthony does that with balls. Anthony does that with rings. I'm going to do it with clubs. Um, so he does, he does like the same, not the same trick, like but a ver like a variation. And again, not taking anything away from the skill of this, because this is incredible what he does here. Um, I find it really impressive. First of all, wait a second. Let me just pause there. Why did he throw the first club into the middle central section? Like for example, like Anthony Gatto when he does it, like with the balls. There's one, two three, four, five, it goes up. But he's made this that there's two and then there's three all at the same level and then there's the ball on top. So it, he could have made it so it's like one, two, three, four, five, but he doesn't do that. So, but if you are gonna do this, I'd do the first one to one of the ones on the left and then one onto the one on the right, you know, uh, you know, make it a bit more symmetrical because this one goes there. So he's gone higher, lower to one side, lower to the other side, Higher again to one side, higher again to the other side. All right. So first of all, just that order is weird. Second of all, the, the timing is like it takes a long time to get there. And OK, so now this is the end of the trick. No, it isn't the end of the trick. Because he's pointing up there. Something else is going to happen. And he gets the ball. He throws the ball up, catches it again. Then he gets the ball. And that's the end of the show. And you're like, what was that last bit going on? Any ideas, guys, in the in the chat? No. So what's going on is that he fundamentally misunderstands what's going on with Anthony Gatto. What Anthony Gatto is doing with this, because Anthony Gatto, he's he's mixed the two props, so it's already messy. The rings in the in Anthony Gatto's version, all the rings go to the same place, and then the ball goes up there. And in the cups, they all go to different places. But then the last thing that you do is the ball goes into the into the teapot and it closes its lid. It's very clearly the lid closes of the teapot. That's the end of the trick. But Willie doesn't understand where the trick has ended. Because let's go back over to uh, Gatto again. So when Anthony Gatto finishes the uh, finishes this thing, okay, you really understand what Anthony is doing here is he's throwing the ball, but the ball is merely a setup to the final iconic image, which is. Saturn. It's the planet with a ring around it. That's the end of the trick. So much so, it's so obviously that the end of the trick is what we're getting. We're getting this, the, the camera zooms into it. It's like that clear what's going on. The camera zooms into this and the reason it zooms in is because this is an iconic moment in the juggling act. It's so quick. It's one, two, three, four, five. The ball is just a setup. The ball is a setup and it's sort of like, oh, what's going on now? One more ring, sparkly ring going up and boom. Camera zooms in, iconic image. And when I mean iconic, I mean like if you cut it out in silhouette, you'd be able to recognize what the trick is. You cut it out in silhouette, you will be able to recognize what the juggler is. This wasn't iconic for a while with Anthony Gatto because he literally had a Wiley e. Coyote teddy on a pole. Have you ever seen those videos? It's so literally Wiley e. Coyote is standing there with his hand out and his nose and three ring, no, four rings would go onto Wiley e. Coyote's hand and the last one would go around his nose. Again, it's the clarity is there, not very iconic. Changing it, you throw a ball with a light shine. Look at that spotlight shining onto a transparent ball. It's just glowing. It's an amazing image. That ring goes on it. You're like, Saturn, here we are. The planet Saturn, iconic. 
All right, let's see, knowing that now, what is iconic about that trick and why it's done? Let's go back over to uh, Willie. So what Willie does, he does the final clubs. Willie does the final club up there, and then he gets the ball, and he's misunderstood that the ball was merely a setup. First of all, it's a tiny ball he's throwing into a massive basket, whereas, whereas Gatto was throwing a really big ball into a small pedestal. So, it, first of all, it's not a ball onto a pedestal. It's a tiny ball into a basket. Ball into basket, not cool. Ball onto pedestal, great. And then he just, he just misunderstands the fundamental reason to be doing this trick is for the iconic image at the end, which is, a, which is right here. You know, it's, it's a ball with a ring around it being lit up by a light and the camera zooms into it because it's so clear what the final image of this trick is. With the balls, it's the teapot closing. With the rings, and it's the, it's the, Saturn, the ball going around on the Saturn thing as well. So that's it. Yeah, Shai, go for it. The worst thing about this, the, the thing Willie did is by itself, the ball is not enough. That's the, that's the, worst, that's the main thing. Yeah. The main point. Um, like it's completely unrelated to the five clubs or the yep. or the skill shots. It's yep. just like it comes from the back. It it, it doesn't. Yeah, we, we have no connection with the ball. Anthony Gatto realizes we have no connection with the ball. We have a connection with the rings, and we have connection with this tower that's being built. Now, Willie could do something iconic with those clubs, like catching clubs in funnels. There's something to be done there. There's, some, there's, there's something to be had. You know, there is an image that you could make out of that which could be iconic. First of all, don't use plas these uh, solid plastic or use clear plastic so when the club's there, we can see the clubs arriving. You know, with Anthony Gatto with the balls, they're, they're dropping into nets. So when the ball goes into the net, you see it. You're like, ah, it's like a snooker, a snooker table pocket. Like the ball goes in there, you can see the ball in there. Whereas these, they're like mostly covered up. You can't see the clubs very well. And then it's just, it's just not very good looking. The arrangement of the funnels aren't very good. If it had just been one, two, three, four, five, with the fifth one at the very top, and he, and he goes up, the first one's here, two, like he just goes up there and throws the last club up. And then immediately it's like, boom, takes them off everybody would go crazy there would be so much more clarity the trick would be easier maybe i don't know i literally have no idea how difficult this trick is it looks really really hard and so having that clarity makes the audience response way bigger clarity makes response bigger